Rams and Lakers from Downview Park. Ryerson looking to keep the offensive machine rolling after yesterday's 3-0 win against Laurentian. And it didn't take long to fire it up. Just 10 minutes in, Marco McKettick takes a feed from Andrew Diaz and finds the right corner, putting the Rams up one. Just five minutes later, check out this beautiful pass from Michel Clisara. Outside of the boot and curls it around his defender and Ahmed Zabian sneaks it under Nick Sorello for his first of the season and second of his Rams career. Midway through the half, Zabian returns the favor. His initial cross attempt into the box is gathered by Andrew Diaz and his first attempt is going to be blocked but he collects the rebound and slides it home, putting the Rams up three at recess. Just as this game appeared to be headed for a 3-0 final, McKettick teams up with Matthew Isabella in the 90th minute for one more goal. It's a nearly identical play between these two from yesterday's game. With the win, Ryerson moves to 13-1-2 against the Lakers dating back to September 6, 2008. They've also won their last six meetings. Marco McKettick's three-point performance earns him Man of the Match honors, and with a four-point weekend in his first games back for Ryerson, he will also take home Male Athlete of the Week honors. We caught up with him and Coach Philip Prostrand after the game to reflect on his performance. It's just fun to be part of the team again, I would have to say. Uh, guys really welcome me back, and it's just like a, it's a selfless approach this year, and uh, I just really like the fact that it's all just for the, for the team. It doesn't really matter who scores, it matters who wins, so it's a, it's a good take. It's a good year. And seeing, you know, uh, how the uh, Ryerson team dominated last year and then coming into that and then having a dominating, dominating open weekend, how does that feel for you? I think every year is different, um, different personnel. This year we're taking more of a uh, hard-working approach. I like it and uh, I, think it'll, I think it'll be good for the playoffs. So, yeah. And what are you guys building on from this week to take on to the road with you next week? Just hard work, you know, just everybody just putting in their shift, everyone getting their minutes and guys are just getting along so I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah, Marco's had an interesting story with Ryerson, and he seems to be in a good place right now, and um, he's playing really well. He's playing really well. The thing I'm most impressed about is his work rate, his selfless play in the final third. Those are two things that, that don't go unnoticed, so I know he's, he's doing a great job. And once you come away out of the first half with that big a lead, really, what's your uh, game plan going into the second half? Yeah, you know what? Nipissing's a team that can sneak up on you, and they fight right to the end, so no game is lost. No game is out of reach. And, and We've learned that on both ends over the years. So, no, we we wanted to put some people in some places to get some more answers, but by no means did we think the game was done. Our job was to, to keep a clean sheet and, and wrap it up, and, and Nipissing gave us a few things to worry about for sure.